Kwe Ach Up Dach. Hello and welcome to the Nogama Village Mi'kmaq Language Program. In the previous series, we discussed body parts such as Nimusti, my belly, and Nunji, my head. In this lesson, we will expand on this, moving beyond the first person to the second person and third person subjects. When talking about a singular subject, I, you, and he or she, we generally follow the NKW rule. The N at the start of the word indicates the first person, I or my. The K indicates the second person, you or your. And lastly, the W is for he or she or his or her. We have some examples that are applicable to multiple subjects. But remember that not all parts of the body will work, particularly for a singular object. It doesn't make sense to talk about our hand, for example. Let's begin with a word you're already familiar with. Ntinin, my body. Repeat after me. Ntinin, ntinin, my body. Ntinin, ntinin, my body. Next is ntinin, your body. Ntinin, ntinin, your body. Ntinin your body. Finally, Wukdinin is his or her body. Say it with me. Wukdinin. Wukdinin. His or her body. Wukdinin. Wukdinin. His or her body. Moving on to plural subjects, let's practice the words for both inclusive and exclusive forms of our as well as your and there. If you are unclear about what inclusive and exclusive forms are, please refer to the supplement or go back to our earlier videos. Practice with me. Our body's inclusive. Uktininra. Our body's inclusive. Uktininra. Uktininra. Our body's inclusive. Uktininra. Our body's inclusive. Ntininino is our body's exclusive. Ntininino. Ntininino. Our body's exclusive. Ntininino. Ntininino. Our body's exclusive. Ntininuwa is your bodies. Uktininua. Uktininua. Your bodies. Uktininua. Uktininua. Your bodies. And finally, their bodies. Uktininua. Their bodies. Uktininua. Uktininua. Their bodies. Wukdininua. Wukdininua. Their bodies. Next, let's now use our heads. Try it with me. Nunji. My head. Nunji. Nunji. My head. Nunji. Nunji. My head. Gunji. Your head. Gunji. Gunji. Your head. Gunji. Gunji. Your head. And Wunji. His or her head. Wunji. Wunji. His or her head. Wunji. Wunji. His or her head. Gunjina. Our heads inclusive. Gunjina. Gunjina. Gunjina, 
our heads inclusive. Nun jina, our heads exclusive. Nun jina. Nun jina, our heads exclusive. Gunjual, your heads. Gunjual. Gunjual, your heads. Gunjual. Gunjual, your heads. Wunjual, their heads. Wunjual. Wunjual, their heads. Wunjual. Wunjual, their heads. Let's try a body part, of which we have more than one of. Lip. We'll start with the singular form and immediately follow it with the plural form. And see. My lip. Unsi. Unsi. My lip. Unsi. Unsi. My lip. Unseal. My lips. Unseal. Unseal. My lips. Unseal. Unseal. My lips. Next, for the second person. Uxi, your lip. Uxi, 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 your lip. Uxil, your lips. Uxil, Uxil, your lips. Uxil, Uxil, your lips. And for the third person, Wuxi, his or her lip. Wuxi, Wuxi, his or her lip. Wuxi, Wuxi, his or her lip. And Wuxil, his or her lips. Wuxil, Wuxil, his or her lips. Wuxil, Wuxil his or her lips. Now for our plural subjects. Uxino, our lips inclusive. Uxino, Uxino, our lips inclusive. Uxino, Uxino, our lips inclusive. Uxino, our lips exclusive. Ntsuno. Ntsuno. Our lips exclusive. Ntsuno. Ntsuno. Our lips exclusive. Uksual. Your lips. Uksual. Uksual. Your lips. Uksual. Uksual. Your lips. Uksuo, their lips. Uksuo, Uksuo, their lips. Uksuo, Uksuo, their lips. Uksuo, Uksuo, their lips. Let's try another. This time we'll practice both tooth and teeth. Nibit. My tooth. Nibbit. Nibbit. My tooth. Nibbit. Nibbit. My tooth. Nibbittle. My teeth. Nibbittle. Nibbittle. My teeth. Nibbittle. Nibbittle. My teeth. Moving on from here, we have gibbet. Your tooth. Gibbet. Gibbet. Your tooth. Gibbet. Gibbet. Your tooth. Gibbittle. Your teeth. Gibbittle. Gibbittle. Your teeth. Gibbittle. Gibbittle. Your teeth. And next is Whoop it. His or her tooth. Whoop it. 
Whoop it. His or her tooth. Whoop it. Whoop it. His or her tooth. And whoop it. His or her teeth. Whoop it. Whoop it. His or her teeth. Whoop it. Whoop it. His or her teeth. Those are first singular subjects. But now let's practice with plural subjects. That is, the inclusive and exclusive form of our plus the plural form of your. And finally, there. However, this only makes sense for plural objects. We would not say our tooth, for example. Repeat after me. Our teeth inclusive. Our teeth inclusive. Our teeth exclusive. Our teeth exclusive. Your teeth. Your teeth. Their teeth. Their teeth. Their teeth. There are plenty more examples in the supplement for you to try. So, let's just do one more before we move on. This time, let's practice with foot and feet. Notice how the words change between singular and plural. They do not quite follow the standard rules we have seen so far. In the first person, we have got my foot. Got got my foot. Got got my foot. Got my feet. Got 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 my feet. Then, in the second person, we have got. Your foot. Ukat. Ukat. Your foot. Ukat. Ukat. Your foot. Ukaro. Your feet. Ukaro. Ukaro. Your feet. Ukaro. Ukaro. Your feet. And finally, the third person. What? His or her foot. Look what? Look what? His or her foot. Look what? Look what? His or her foot. Look what? His or her feet. Look what? Look what? His or her feet. Look what? Look what? His or her feet. Samadhi, 
Fatima Delaware, Hamati, Fatima Delaware, Gilati, Fatima Delaware, Abijati, Fatima Delaware, Delaware, Nahasi. Fatima Delaware, Fati. Hamati. Oh, my God. Let's consider how we might apply this vocabulary to some simple sentences. You just heard the command verb for touch, samadu. And in the previous series, we also encountered the word gesnugwik, which means it's sore or ailing. Perhaps you are talking to a person that isn't feeling well. Go away, gesnugwask. Gesnugwik numusti. Damiel geji samadu. Bisin menu again? Ah. Oh, we In the supplement, you will find a chart listing body parts for you to practice with and to grow your word bank. Start with the simple words such as gilnu, your tongue. Turn them into rhyming games if that helps with your memorization. For more challenging words, Consider the methods we discussed in the second video in Level 1.1. Break the words down into syllables, either from the start or the end. Look for the diphthongs and the glides. Try singing them, if that helps. As you practice, try adding one or two words for an additional challenge. See if you can create simple questions and answers as a mean of increasing your comprehension. When in doubt, seek out a fluent speaker or refer to the other resources that we have listed to hear the pronunciations. Gesiawi, onuwi sultanage, welalioch ach nomodoksep.